this afternoon. You join me underneath my Peugeot on a uh, sunny, dry day in a main road, as is what you have to do when you have nowhere else to work. We're up on uh, car ramp. Well, that side's all the way up. This side here, yeah, it's over the over the bump. I've got some blocks behind the back wheels. The car's not going anywhere. The reason I'm under here. This particular bracket here is loose and broken, so it sounds like I'm driving a banger racer, which is not great when you leave for work at 20 past five in the morning. It must be very enjoyable for your neighbors. Um, so it's a bit rubbish and welded on there with um, the passage of time and also this joint here started making this noise recently which is again love a lovely feature of a near 200,000 mile car um, the little squeaks and rattles that start creeping up so I'm gonna have a go at doing a one take change that or take that clamp off dismantle this a bit of copper slip to uh, stop the, the squeak and then um, Hopefully when I start it up afterwards, it won't sound like a, like a tank. So, well, this is practically broken, but I'm still gonna try and undo this side. In case no one's ever heard of this stuff. Plus gas, best stuff in the world for getting old seized nuts off. So I'm gonna spray that one. And I'm also gonna give this one and this one if I don't spray myself in the face give them a bit of love there we go I'll come back to them in a bit let's go and ah. we'll go with that so we've got 13 mil on the bottom just to hook it on and hopefully Just enough to get it off without fighting. Right. Now that we've got a bit of clearance there, let's see if we can get the other end undone. Now I've grabbed a selection of 13 down to 10 mil. It happens to be a 10 mil that holds this on. On one end, what have we got on the other? 10 mil on two ends. So we've got. of trying to work sideways under a car well it's not a main road it's a side road but still BMW old 3 series just went past and a nice little cheeky exhaust on it. I do like the sound of a BM. Okay, so I don't have to take the other one all the way off. Okay, so let's deal with the squeaky noise while we're here. Clear any loose junk out of it. What I'm going to put in the gap is, I don't know if you can see that copper slip. It's a great high temperature lubricant that's non-flammable and instantly, if you think about it, the only lubricant they can actually use in space, or it used to be. They probably do 
develop newer stuff since. Great high temperature grease and things like this. It's also worth putting over all the uh, fixing nuts. I'll do that upon reassembly so that if I do have to get them apart again, they will come apart nicely. Do both sides. I'll do the same with the, um, the other join that I've got to play with. It's always nice when things actually come back apart again. those jobs you need about 12 hands for. Okay. On the other side out. It's quite disconcerting the speed that some of the cars come past here. Bear in mind I'm three houses from the end of a side road and it's a 30 limit. Feels like they're still doing 30 as they come past me. Yeah, eye opening sometimes working in the road. Let's get one off. Missed a bit. Let's put some more copper stick in here. Put some more new threads. On loosely. Right. So I don't want any squeaks coming from this other end as well. So that's sort of half back together now. Move it down. This one's not quite. So again, I'm gonna cut a slip around the join just because I don't want it to. up with the old one. Okay. 
Yeah, we're not going to lose anything now. Undo that one. That one can undo it. Just that. Oh, look at that. It appears to be the bigger one. Right. YouTube, who can drive a car sideways while com having a conversation with a camera about what it's like to drive. Uh, as much as I have tried that, it is bloody hard work. Okay. Well, I wound them up roughly by hand. I'm going to lose my can now. Working in a little bit of space. Okay. I'm going to just wind them up a little bit by little bit, a bit on each side until. nice and high, it feels more settled. Spring clip's not started to pop out the sides. Make sure it's there. Yeah. There we go. Nice and tight. And it won't sound like a tank anymore. That is nice and rigid. Now I'll go a bit closer so you can see that. Clamps it up nice and tight, not all the way down on both sides. I guess you really could wind them all the way down if you wanted to, but if you go too far, the, uh, the spring washer, which is this part under the nut, will um, start to basically wind its way out the side and it won't do its job. And that's not good for anyone. So uh, there's that part with copper slips both sides of, uh, of this. I'm just going to wind them back up to the very end so it stays a flexible joint without making too much noise. Wound up tight, copper slip in the join, no longer making any noise. Now what I've spotted up here, if I can get in there and show you. Uh, there we go. This here, lower engine steady, stops the engine from rocking forward and back. I don't know if I can get it to actually move. Right, 
can see this. Quite a bit of play in that, which probably won't have helped my exhaust clamp and squeaky exhaust, so that'll probably be next on the list. I've got a, uh, a wheel bearing starting to rumble, which again, not expected, not uh, unexpected based on the mileage. Um, I guess final thing to test is how much noise it makes, so we'll soon see. So, uh, here I am. There's our two areas of interest. We've got our flexible joint up here and our uh, previously broken clip blowing joint there. Um, just moving my tools out the way, my neighbour came over to say, have a bit of a chat, so I thought I'd better stop recording. So, um, I guess this, this is moment of truth. Let's see if it makes any uh, any noise. Oh, and the ice cream van has turned up. Just what you want, isn't it? You're never really going to get the old one out easily, but luckily one of those bolts moved. If it hadn't, I'd have had to get a hacksaw or an angle grinder in there. Depends on what your access is like. There we go, broken clip replaced. And so the new one, albeit a different version, slightly different size, is uh, like that. That's what it should look like. Now the fun part. We're up on ramps. Let's uh, pop that there. We'll get it down. Just found one problem is fixed. Another problem has been caused. The exhaust is now rattling off the back of the car, so we'll go and see what's going on there. Here we are under the back of the car, and uh, this clamp, I believe, is the problem. I think it's probably just been. Um, wiggled around with me wiggling the rest of the exhaust but the exhaust is actually catching that's not a nice sound is it but looking at the exhaust here it's seen better days I'm tentatively gonna undo it I hope to very hell but um, nothing is about to fall apart and cause me a massive headache but we'll, we'll see I replaced this clamp at some point in the last 18 months, can't remember exactly when. Um, it wasn't causing the problem, I just noticed that um, the exhaust was hanging a bit funny. Looked underneath and the clamp was barely hanging in there. So I'll uh, give it a squirt like I did the other one, whiz it off, and have a little uh, play. Let's uh... say use WD-40 which yeah you can do it does free things up it is a lubricant what plus gas has got over them is it's a penetrating compound so it'll actually work its way gradually around the uh, threads whilst lubricating and it's a thinner oil and it just sort of gets into places better than WD does it This is possibly the worst fitting exhaust. None of the brackets and the clips in the right place. Here's what it is, that's what I've got. Right, I'm sort of holding it roughly where it needs to be. And maybe a little higher in the hope that when these are tight it actually sits back down again. I've got my knee on the exhaust, I don't know if you can see it up there. Uh, let's get Woohoo! 
Well, it may have been knocking on the boot floor, but the car isn't yet knocking on heaven's door, luckily. Well, so as far as old cars go, I can turn this around. I'm going to come to here. Got a little bit of corrosion on the tank strap. There's a plastic tank. That ain't going to rot. The underneath of the car is actually pretty spotless. There's a little tiny bit of corrosion creeping up at the, uh, where are we? Over on the front of this sill. But I mean, it's a 21 year old, 200,000 mile car. Don't mind that. Don't be afraid of an old car, especially really, really old ones, because they are fixable. Right, let's uh, get this down off the ramps and uh, hopefully that's us done for the day.